Good evening at 5 o'clock. I'm Mark Mullins. And I'm Amanda Starantino. Tonight, our TV6 is digging into the reasons behind repeated delays when it comes to safety improvements for drivers in Hancock County. It's a follow-up to a story our TV6 first reported in November of 2018 after drivers shared concerns over several crashes at the Fortville intersection. Now, more than a year later, those drivers are asking why the necessary measures still have not been taken. Our TV6's Nicole Griffin is getting answers for them tonight. Drivers in Fortville have been asking this question. What's it going to take? You know, at what point is it going to be serious enough to make something happen? It's a concern we first reported in November of 2018 after several crashes at State Road 13 and State Road 67 in Fortville. Fortville police report 12 more crashes here in 2019. A lot of times because of the way the intersection is, you have to darn near pull out onto Highway 67 to be able to turn right onto 67. Um, so it's just a busy intersection with difficulty seeing and a lot of traffic. After a traffic study, INDOT recognized the need for a traffic signal. But in 2018, the project was delayed because INDOT thought it needed to acquire land. The design phase later showed there wasn't a need. So then contractors started bidding on the project in March of 2019. You guys did an update on the story back in August saying that the project would be completed in two to three weeks. And here we are in the 1st of January and still no stoplight. New black poles, wiring and signs were added, but the traffic signals have not been installed. Right now, there is only a stop sign for drivers on State Road 13. And the frustration for drivers is clear. Just this week, a local realtor put out a skeleton with a sign saying, no turn on red. The message behind it, the town of Fortville has been waiting for a light long enough. I think he probably died waiting on the stoplight to be installed. Um, so while it might be a little bit funny, um, it does speak to the frustration of the people in the town. It's just please, we're pleading, please can we have the stoplight that we've been promised. I followed up with INDOT to find out why it's taking so long to get the traffic signal installed here. A department spokeswoman tells me they are waiting on the contractor to get the supplies they need for installation. I asked why it's taking so long to get those supplies and whether or not they're considering hiring a new contractor contractor. That spokeswoman tells me she is out of the office until Monday and will get those answers to me. Working for you in Fortville, Nicole Griffin, RTV6. Nicole, thank you. Police say a majority of the crashes were just fender benders at that intersection in 2019, but one did result in injuries. Right now, INDOT says it does not have a new completion date for the project. We will follow up Monday, as Nicole mentioned, to see if there is an update to the report.